Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and let's find out what's been on the hook. Well I hope you're having a wonderful wonderful Monday. Um, it's a wonderful weekend this weekend and we do have somewhere we need to be so I'm recording this on Saturday and we will not be having a video. Well, I'm, I'm actually producing the video on Monday. So you're seeing this at the regular time, but I will be doing some other things that I have to do for family. And so I am not with you this week. However, I wanted to leave a video for you on Monday. So it will just be like all of my regular videos, except that the, vi the giveaway that we would uh, select today, the three giveaway winners will be selected next Monday. So at the end of this video, I will put a link to the video with the giveaways for next Monday. And be sure to click on that video, watch it, put the keyword words into your comment, and that way you'll be in the running for the giveaway that I'll be doing on the 16th. Let me bring you up to date on the People's Pullover. This is the pattern that I designed for um, a charity event for the Ukrainian people. The All the proceeds for this particular pattern will go to the Samaritan's Purse, and that is run by Franklin Graham, who has a wonderful charity uh, organization that goes where people need them. And right now they're in Ukraine. They're doing some wonderful work there. I always put a link down in the description box to his website where you can see what they're doing exactly. But I thank you for buying this pattern. It's been two weeks now and we have sold 151 patterns. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now my goal was 200 and I don't think that was too aggressive. I really believe we can do that. And with my putting $1 in for every pattern that's sold, plus all the proceeds that go um, together with that dollar, the total will be over $1,000. So let's get together and try to make this happen. I'm going to put my money in, and y'all buy the pattern, and it's a great pattern as well. Now, one thing I have done is I've ordered some more um, yarn and the yarn is a cotton yarn from Hobie H-O-B-B-I-I -I. you've heard of them probably if you watch any of the YouTube channels about crochet or, or knitting and Hobie yarn um, has a, a very nice selection of cotton yarns and I found two colors that I really really liked and so I ordered those two colors and I'm going to reimagine the people's pullover in two different colors. But right now I'm promoting this particular pattern in these colors and they are the blue and yellow colors of the Ukrainian flag. So if you're so inclined, please go out to my Etsy shop. The link is down in the description box and purchase one of these patterns. They're $5.99. There's no discount on these patterns because all the money, all the proceeds go to the Ukrainian people. A side note about Hobie. Hobie sent some yarn to me that I had selected, I don't know, over a month ago. And they've sent it to me and I have received it. And I have it right here in a, uh, a bag that they sent me, a project bag. This is so cute. Look at this girl on the front. <laughs> Isn't she cute? It's those little pink cheeks. And she also has knitting needles right there and a crochet hook right there. And they are, they're a thinking company because they have both crafts covered. But as you can see, I, this is full of yarn, and what I've done is uh, I have agreed with Hobie to do a video just about their yarn, which is no problem at all. I've made some swatches, and I want to show you what the yarn looks like. I mean, you certainly don't have to buy it, but there will be a link there that you can go out and check it out at Hobie Yarns. And that video will be coming out later this week. Just a look at some Hobie Yarns. It's not a hard sell. It's just for you to see uh, what they offer as a company. So I've seen other reviews. Uh, TL Crafts did one. Um, Cinnamon Stitches did one. There are several that, um, YouTubers that have done that. And so they sent it to me and I thought, well, that would be only fair to show y'all the Hobie yarn. So I'm gonna do that later on this week. But right now we're not talking about Hobie yarn, but I did order it in order to make another people's pullover reimagined. That's what I'm calling it, the reimagined people's pullover. And it's just gonna be in different colors and it's still gonna be cotton though. I believe I ordered cotton. So I wanted to show you that. Make sure you remember that Crystal is modeling this. And here she is, thank you Crystal for modeling our people's pullover. Um, it's a beautiful pattern, I really like it. I mean, it's not just something I kicked out really quickly. I had been thinking about uh, doing this for a while. Mr. On the Hook helped me 
uh, kind of design it to make it um, look a little bit less uh, crazy as far as the colors because the colors are very very bright so you have to be careful not to use too many bright colors on uh, a, a garment if they if they're just standing out so instead of making the whole thing striped which I had originally thought I would do I um, I changed the design just a little bit but it's a beautiful design I'm going to reimagine this in different colors so that you can see what it looks like made up in different colors but I do love the blue and yellow I think it's really pretty and uh, it helps me feel like I'm supporting the people of Ukraine just a little bit so Thank you, Crystal, for modeling that. I appreciate that. And uh, let's get on with our show. Well, I guess you've noticed that I am wearing a brand new sweater today. Loving this sweater. It's so comfortable. I've had it on all day. This is late in the afternoon, actually, on Saturday. And I am uh, cool as a cucumber, as they used to say. I'm cool in this sweater. Um, really love the way the stitch pattern turned out up top. And I've talked about that before, but I'm going to quickly show you this up close because it is a pretty stitch pattern. There are different stitches all in here in um, different row patterns as well. So let's look at this. This is um, the contrasting color, how it goes down onto the sleeve, right there around the back of the sleeve and around the neck. And I have a little bit of a, uh, a necklace right here, and I just thought that was so pretty the way it turned out. So I left it, and I'm going to uh, release the pattern fairly soon. So I'm going to step back and let you look at this in full view. Well, here is the blue sky sweater in full view, and I wanted you to see this. I am wearing a white tank top under it, and only because the light that I have shining toward me so you can see me in the video um, it brightens this white and then underneath it looks very very dark for some reason so when I put the white tank top on it looked fine but I did try it on without the tank top and it was perfectly fine without that and just with my normal undergarment so I just wanted you to know that I'm wearing a white tank top under it and it's also white yarn and it looks pretty with white behind it that's for sure you can also use a different color and you probably wouldn't even think about having to wear a tank top underneath it. So this is what it looks like. It's a short sleeve and uh, I didn't really do a whole lot of different things to this. What I did, as I discussed last week, I increased from here to here on the bust line so that the bust line would be larger here in the front and the whole front would be a little bit bigger and the back doesn't need to be big unless you want it to be. But this is what the back looks like. It, uh, it fits a lot better. The yoke comes to right about here. And so the back of the sweater is, it falls straight and it looks really, really nice. Now, if you want extra bulk in the back as well, if you feel more comfortable with a little more sweater back there, then you could do those increases all the way around. And I'll, I'll try to remember to put that in the pattern so that you can do the optional back increases if you want to. But right around the bust line, I started the increases and um, I just left them because I had made the sweater with very little ease. I had kind of decided that I wanted a fitted sweater and now that it's fitted I'm not sure I really love it. I wish I had made it a little bit bigger. But that's of course for the second time around which I always suggest that you do with my patterns or anybody's pattern. Make them twice and the second time around you can perfect that pattern and make it just right. Now again I would make it a little bit bigger along here and I would maybe take the yoke out just a little bit, but I did do a lot of decreasing around the armhole, and I didn't have to do quite as much because I made the section under the armhole much wider than I usually do, and that gives the, the sweater a little bit of width here, but it also uh, keeps the armhole from being so terribly big. Now, you might like large armholes. I don't know, but mine, I, I really like to bring that down and I used quite a few decreases around here and then I added the sleeve and then I put a, uh, a, a short edging around in the contrasting color. You don't want to make it too much, but I did pick up the color from here and I used a mandala ombre for the contrasting color. So by the time I got to this point, um, after I finished this, it was in the green mode <laughs> instead of the blue. So I just left it. I thought, well, that's just the creative part of using a self-striping yarn. Mandala Ombre is not terribly striping, but it is actually pretty striping. So uh, it, it lent itself to changing colors up here, which was nice. And then the last part of the Ombre ball was green, and so I just let it be. 
as they say, around the sleeves and also around the bottom of the sweater. So I hope you like it. I don't have the pattern ready yet because like I said, I've had a family issue. So I will put the pattern together in the next week or two. So it was made from comfy cotton yarn and mandala ombre from Lion Brand, both from Lion Brand. So uh, if you're gathering yarn to make this particular sweater, you might use a number three yarn. That's what I used. And the hook size was a K. I used a K hook size and uh, it, it made the sweater a little bit uh, more drapey which is what I was going for because comfy cotton tends to be heavy if you crochet it in a tight stitch. So I hope you like this blue sky sweater. I really love it. It's so comfortable. It moves with you. There are no seams in this particular sweater. There's not one seam. So those of you who don't like to sew, this would be a good option for you. So again, I'll be uh, releasing that pattern in a couple of weeks. So when I return from my family obligations, I'll probably um, finish it then. It's my next pattern to write. So I'll take care of that and get that out to my Etsy shop so you can take a look at it there. Next, I want to talk about my Knit Crate shipment that came today. I want to show you what it is and the extra that's in here and uh, the beautiful, beautiful yarn. It's just really beautiful. Uh, it's, this month's theme is conservatory and it's talking about retreating from a spring morning that's cool and going into the greenhouse where it's nice and warm and humid. The colors are clay pot, rainfall, and conservatory. There are a couple of colors here for fingering weight or sock box subscriptions and those are not what I order. These are the three colors that I could select from and I selected the clay pot. As you know, I have several patterns in the fingering weight yarn so it's not just for socks. It's easy though because for socks you just buy one hank and you're done. For a sweater you need three or four hanks so <laughs> it makes a difference in the money spent but you also have something to wear up here rather than on your feet. So it's up to you however you want to do it. Patterns are available to those who buy a knit crate box and let me show you those real quick. Here are the patterns that are available in the knit crate box this month. The one on the left is the Longwood Garden Tote and that is a knitted pattern and the knit is felted. So uh, you do something special to that. It's a beautiful pattern. I like that but it is knitted and then the one on the right is called the Senta Scarf. That looks pretty easy. Finally I'm going to show you the knit, uh, knit crate yarn that I received. This is so gorgeous. It's called Clay Pot and it is 100% merino wool double knit. So DK. Very very beautiful. Beautiful yarn. It's not the softest yarn I've ever felt but it is beautiful for a hat or something like that. It's 236 yards on the hank. It's very, very voluminous. Very, It's soft, but it's not smooth. Maybe that's the word I need to use for it. It's it's soft, but not smooth. It's It feels like wool. It's got a little bit of tooth to it, um, but I'm sure a, a hat or something in this would be very beautiful. Look at that. It's a beautiful comment. Hold it back here. I think you get the better look back a little ways. So again, that's the Knit Crate yarn that came in the in the mail today. Also, the extra that was in there is a little book it's a notebook with lined pages and on the front are some really cute leaves and the background is wooden. It looks wooden. It's not wooden, but it, I think it's plastic. But the, the pages are lined in wide lines. I like that. I've always written cursive handwriting, very large, and so wide lined books are wonderful for me. So uh, that's what was the extra in here. Very useful for me. I put this in uh, a project bag. I, I put all of my little booklets in a project bag to keep notes on the work that I'm doing on that particular sweater because I will forget. So this is a wonderful extra. It came in the Knit Crate mailing this month. Now here's a quick look at the diamond painting I'm working on this week. This is St. Francis of Assisi and I'm going to point a few things out with my crochet hook <laughs> so I can combine the two crafts together. This is a little piece that I've done up here 
this is the word Francis and of. I've done those words. So I'm taking a little piece of this at a time. The next piece I'm going to do is Francis' face. But I've already completed this owl. Is he not the cutest thing? I just think he is so cute. He's sitting on Francis' shoulder there. And over here are two birds that I have finished. These are done with some sparkly sparkles. Uh, the drills are very sparkly there. I don't know if you can see that. But the bird here, a little bird there, and his hands. I've finished his hands. And what I've done here is I've added a little bit of brown up here just to see what color his uh, habit was going to be and it is actually um, a dark dark brown darker than the color in the canvas so that doesn't always give you the perfect look of what it's going to look like so it's kind of fun when you place the drills in and they uh, they pop out and the painting comes to life and down here is the kitty that I showed you last week is he the cutest thing you ever saw? I just think he's beautiful with those green eyes. Isn't he beautiful? So the next step I'm going to make is the face, of course. And then I will proceed to his robe. And then I will probably work on the flowers in the background there. So that's the progress I've made on St. Francis. And I will give you this advice. If you have a painting that is has definitive pieces in it, like a face and animals, birds, you can actually take those and just do those to, to get started and then it makes the painting go so much more fun you can uh, look at it and see what you've done instead of just starting from the bottom and moving up which I have done on all of my paintings but this one I decided to do it differently so I hope you enjoyed that that's just a little look at my St. Francis of Assisi diamond painting from Diamond Art Club to show you the progress I've made this week on my St. Francis of Assisi diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. There will also be a link down in the description box if you are interested in a diamond painting it's your first time with Diamond Art Club you'll get a discount. Just use that link down in the description box and you can uh, enjoy that discount and be able to choose one of there are many 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 diamond paintings on their website all kinds of diamond paintings if you have a certain type that you like you can click on that in the search bar or you can also click a tab up at the top it's very easy to find their diamond painting so just wanted to show you that it's fun it's a lot of fun craft you don't have to have a lot of skill to start it and I noticed in the comments that y'all leave me that a lot of y'all have started doing diamond painting and it's so exciting uh, because it's an easy craft to learn and it's so relaxing and so fun and uh, you create these beautiful diamond paintings when you're done. If you, if you don't know what I've been doing, if you're new here, I have published many videos with my diamond painting um, exploits in there. And I, I, I just wanted you to see uh, some of the diamond paintings that I'm working on. So if, if you go down to my most recent diamond paintings playlist, um, then you'll see uh, some of the different videos that I've done with my different diamond painting uh, project so just wanted to let you know that so let's get back to our show if you've been watching me for any length of time you'll know that I started several uh, sweaters that I'm not finishing and I'm using them in my frog or finish section of my video that means that I have started a project and it's very easy to do it's not you know I haven't gotten that far on it but I started it and I thought you know what I'm not doing this <laughs> I'm not going to do this. So I have found another one for y'all. And what we'll do is I'm going to show this today and give you a keyword. You sign up for that. And then next week on Monday, we will select a winner. But we'll also select winners from last Monday's video. Um, I explained that at the beginning of the video. So be sure to tune in next Monday because it's going to be a big giveaway day. This giveaway is a frog or finish. And the finish part is... Uh, part of a sweater that I started. This is what the body looks like. That is the extended single crochet and they're probably five inches here and it's pretty wide. It's, it's, it's plenty wide. It's probably about 24 inches wide. And I started this and it was from the Don't Look Up movie that was popular on Netflix a few months ago. And the main character in there was wearing a beautiful sweater and some of the knitters on YouTube uh, copied that sweater and made it and I thought I was going to copy it in crochet and it was just I wasn't that interested in it I just couldn't get interested in it so I ripped that out and I did it from a top down and then I decided to make it bottom up and then I decided I'm not doing this <laughs> 
So I have a lot of yarn here and I'm going to give this away next Monday. So be sure you use the keyword up, U-P, up. And that's from Don't Look Up. That was from the, the movie. All right. So I have four skeins of Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted. This is what it looks like. This is really nice yarn. I love this yarn. I love this yarn. I need to make another project from it, but I really don't like brown right now. Brown is not my color. I'm not really good with brown, and I bought this because it was the color of the sweater in the movie, and not because it looks good on Jeannie, so <laughs> it's not helping me any. I just thought I would give it away. This is the colorway Caramel. This is Caramel, and there are five skeins of this and one skein is partially used with that and you can frog that right out and use it for whatever you want to but there are five skeins of that there's also uh, two skeins of azalea which is a gorgeous color really pretty this would be pretty in an afghan a little throw or a baby blanket or something like that it's anti-pilling so uh, it, it doesn't pill up on you when you wash it which is kind of nice and there are two shades of brown that go with that as well a little darker brown and they are bark and let's see brown number three was walnut this is walnut and this is bark and those two colors are also in the grouping so those will go into the bag and i will send those out to a lucky winner next week so use the keyword up up and you'll be in the running for that next monday on the 16th that's it for today i'm going to let y'all go and publish this on Monday, and I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. I really do. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to look for this pattern coming up. Don't forget the People's Pullover. If you don't have a copy, please go and buy one, and that money will go to the Ukrainian people. I'm really excited about sending the money as soon as possible. So we have sold 151 patterns. That is so exciting, but 200 is the goal. So let's see if we can reach that. If you have already bought one, you can buy another one and give it to a crochet friend. Um, you can gift it to someone. That would be nice, even for Christmas or something like that, maybe with some yarn even. So just think about that for a birthday present or something for someone, um, or just buy one to support us. That's all. We really appreciate that. I'm looking forward to sending them the money to, uh, to help the Ukrainian people. So don't forget about the People's Pullover. I'll put a link to it down in the description box. And also, wrapping up, don't forget my project bags. If you uh, are want a selection of four, then you have the perfect time right now. But I don't want to run out of colors and then have y'all be disappointed. There are four colors out there. I ordered plenty of all of them last time I ordered. And I moved my inventories down a little bit. So I just want to let you know they're out there. And if you're looking for a project bag, you might consider one. Um, they're very, very sturdy, very large. They hold two or three small projects or a, an afghan. It'd be easy to put into one of these. And so I just wanted to let you know that as well. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And look for my Hobie Yarn video to come out this week. It will be um, a short video, not too long, but it'll give you a look at some of the Hobie Yarns that are out there uh, available to buy. And if you're interested, you can do that. So I don't get any money from that. It is a sponsored video, though. They gave me the yarn, and I made some swatches. So we'll be looking at those on the end of the week's video. So if you're subscribed, you'll be notified when that comes out. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so when you know uh, the videos that come out, you'll be able to watch them and uh, maybe learn something, be inspired. So I hope I've done that today. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will see you later in the next video. So join me then to find out what's on the hook.